Good morning, it's another school day for us today. Today we are not staying home all day, we're going out to do some stuff with some other home educator friends. Izzy's doing her maths at the moment, I'm just going to put some laundry away and I'll get back to you later. Bless you! We're all a bit sneezy in this house at the moment, both me and Izzy have been sneezing like mad, I hope we're not getting colds. I'm just going to go through the list now and sort out what school work she can do on the train now to get that done. This is how I managed to juggle Izzy having a thriving social life and fitting in her academic work. We just have to slot it in on the go when we're commuting to and from groups and activities with others. It's a bit late, so now I'm just chucking some sandwiches together for us to munch on the train. We're going to try and pop to a library today while we're out. We have a special drawer for library books because we used to find that the books used to disappear into the bookshelf or the house in general and not be findable in a hurry. We're on the train and we're starving so we're going to have a quick bit of lunch now. The train's not going for five minutes anyway. It's an absolutely beautiful sunny day today. Well we've had our bit of lunch now and Izzy's going to crack on with an exercise. Well we've got off the train. It's a nice bit of work ticked off the list for the day during that journey. We've never been where we are now. But I've just looked it up on Google Maps. It looks really straightforward. It's only a five minute walk for us. Izzy's just come across something very fortunate outside this charity shop. There's a big pile of Doctor Who magazines. 40 pence each. And if you didn't know, I'm a massive Doctor Who fan. Yeah, I think, probably do. Yeah, I think we know. Yeah. If they're new to the channel, they might not know. That's true. Mm. Having a lovely time the cafe here. It's not something we normally do, but we are today. I'm just randomly filming in the loo because I can't film out there really without getting other people's kids in it. But we've had a lovely few hours here at the cafe and the kids have had a lovely time. And we're about to leave now and we're going to head off to the library to take our books back. So we've been to the library already. That was a quick in and out. Just dropped some books back for return. That was all and renewed one. And we're off to a shop now to just pick up a few bits before getting the train home. Well, we're trying to get groceries. Isabel is totally distracted. Hello, my name is Nosewort. Izzy and I are now on the train. We went to the shop to buy healthy things, you know, as you do. We came out with this. Came out with this. Well, the thing is, we saw these advent calendars. And these advent calendars were Reese's Pieces advent calendars. And obviously, we don't want to buy advent calendars now in October. Especially as we're hoping to move house by Christmas. I'm kind of doubtful that's going to happen, but... So we had a big appetite for Reese's pieces by then. The drama, the stress. Isabel can't get the pattern <laughs> open. <laughs> ah, oh, finally, we've in got there, through. Get in there quick. We've got through the struggle. <laughs> <laughs> we think this train is like freshly upholstered or something. Something relatively fresh and clean. Mm, oh, the smell of peanut butter and chocolate coming off here. What one? Yeah. Yummy. I needed to buy some pocket hankies for Isabel's snotty nose. That the only ones they had in the shop were. Ah, we are back. It's about 20 past four now. We've got a little bit of schoolwork left to do, but then we finish the whole day. I think we might need to have a little break first. Somebody's looking a little bit sleepy. Are you sleepy? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Kettle on for me. Fizzy water and Rubicon combo for Izzy. We've moved on to reusable straws that we bought from Ikea. Here you go, dear. Thank you. You're welcome. If you haven't heard me say it before, the reason we got into the habit of using straws is because Izzy's severe eczema causes any sort of contact with liquid around her mouth to start itching up. But um, she's much better now. We're still kind of in the habit. Izzy, can you tolerate drinks without straws yet? Tolerate, still a bit sore. She can tolerate it, but it's still a bit sore because she's so sensitive. She's like reacting against everything. So it's just better to use a straw. But we were getting through so many, I was feeling a bit sorry for the environment. I'm going to run out and get that washing off the line because it's looking a bit murky out there. I must trim this lawn. It's getting a bit long. 
I've just been putting all those clothes away. I'm going to put another load on. That that you can hear is live streaming Portuguese in my pocket <laughs> on my phone. I'm trying to learn Portuguese, you see, so just absorbing it. Right, I'm going to put a hot wash on now, bedding and stuff. We're eventually cracking back on with it now. Izzy's studying the lyrics to a song in Portuguese at the moment, but I'm leaving her to it. So as she just finishes up those last couple of bits for the day, I have been just planning the rest of her educational activities for the rest of the week. But I'm going to sign off now. I've got to go and practice my flute because a gig has just come in for this weekend that I need to do some practice for. So I'm going to end the vlog there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it. Comment down your thoughts below and subscribe for more adventures. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!